Now, people living in flats with Grenfell-style flammable cladding have reacted with anger to a government minister suggesting they will have to pay towards the cost of replacing it themselves. The Housing Safety Minister, Lord Greenhouse, says costs will be kept affordable and the government has set up a £1.6 billion fund to pay for repairing taller tower blocks. But flat leaseholders say the money is nowhere near enough. Sarah Corker reports now. Just despair. I just let down. Exhausted, both financially and emotionally. Trapped living in unsafe flats with dangerous cladding. Across Britain, this is the reality for hundreds of thousands of people. In Leeds, Abby and her husband face crippling costs to remove the cladding from their building, a bill that could run into tens of thousands of pounds. It literally is just pulling and ripping our lives apart. And Grenfell happened over three years ago and nothing has changed. It's so unsafe, flat leaseholders have to pay £400 a month each for 24-hour fire wardens. Abby says her life is on hold. If we want to have a family, we have to start now and we can't, we can't financially because we might have to declare bankruptcy due to this. We couldn't bring up a, a child in an unsafe home. The Grenfell Tower fire exposed serious issues with building regulations and the government is providing £1.6 billion to remove dangerous cladding. But analysis suggests that money will cover just one third of the highest risk blocks. Leaseholders in flats across the UK with cladding and fire safety issues are facing huge repair bills. And already nearly 3,000 buildings have applied for government help to cover the costs, including the Albion Works here in Manchester. And in a significant change in position, the Minister for Building Safety admitted to a committee of MPs that leaseholders would now have to cover some of the costs. Yeah. Affordability means it has to be something they can afford and they won't go bankrupt, so that's the whole point. Right, but the, the costs could still be significant even if they're affordable, couldn't they, for um, leaseholders? They, they, our aim is to make sure that they are affordable. That's angered campaigners. I feel very let down. Alexander yeah. and Anastasia like say they shouldn't be liable for safety problems with cladding on this Manchester block. I think it's really unfair because, one, we don't own the building. We're not freeholders. We didn't build it. I'm not sure to get to sleep and wake up all the time wondering if, if that noise that I just heard was a, is the fire alarm. The couple sleep with a fire extinguisher by their bed. Some flats aren't just unsafe, but now effectively worthless. People can't move, people can't buy, people can't sell, people can't remortgage. So it's, it is definitely slowing the housing market. This is a crisis that has left many people feeling broken. We feel completely ignored. It just leaves me completely helpless. Sarah Corker, BBC News in Leeds.